Word Wall have just released the audio feature. You can now add audio to many of the exercises that you create in Word Wall. I've released a video about it within 24 hours of the feature being available and it's proved very, very popular. And if you wanna watch that video, I'll put it on the screen now for you to link to. In this video, I'm gonna focus just on you adding your own voice to your Word Wall exercises, which is also possible. This doesn't have to be, of course, in English. It could be in any language since you're recording your voice. Now, I'm gonna show you a brilliant audio tool that's completely free and super easy to use that will allow you to record the audio as MP3 files and upload them directly into WordWall. One quick tip, there is a difference between adding up a single word, so adding just your voice to a single word and adding your voice to a complete sentence. So please watch and understand the difference between the two because it does work slightly different. Really hope you like the video. As always, if you do, please share it with other teachers. Please like it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So very quickly, where will you find this feature? Well, let's just quickly go to this exercise here where I've already started to add some audio files, but it will do. Uh, let's quickly look at it. You can see that there are audio, audio files, files added to several of the words, but some haven't got it. So if I click on this one, France. And if I click on this one, it's got my voice, Thailand. But if I click on this one, there's nothing at the moment. How do I add the audio? Well, if I come down to the edit content section, you'll notice now that you have the audio option. Now, if we come to one which I haven't done, for example, Italy, if I click here, we've got two options. First of all, I can just use the normal voice activation that's available in WordWall, and I have to generate the sound by clicking here. Italy. Okay, and then click on OK, and now that's added. However, if I want to use my own voice, what I'm gonna need to do is to click and come on to upload. Now the problem is of course, is that I need to record my voice. I'm gonna show you now a technology that can do that for you in seconds and it's completely free. So what I've done is I've removed my voice from Thailand and Egypt, so it's completely free at the moment. There is no voice and I'm gonna show you now how to Thailand and Egypt I would add my voice and take you through the process. So I'm on a website called Vokaroo, and I'm just gonna click on this button here and just record the first word, which is Thailand. Thailand. Now, I'm just gonna play it back and just check it worked. Thailand. Now, all I need to do now is to click here, save and share, and then download. Simple as that. And that word is now downloaded. Now, I'm gonna just record another word because we'll just add a couple. So we're gonna do Egypt. So we we'll come back, we we'll click again here. Egypt and then again we can save and share now of course we can record whole sentences it doesn't just have to be only working with single words now what we need to do is to upload those audio files into WordWall I really like Vokaroo because you can record and download, but you can also record and embed, or you can record and just share the link. And so it's brilliant both for you for doing audio recordings as a teacher, but also for your students. And I've often got my students to record themselves using Vokaroo. If you wanna know more about the way that Vokaroo works, there's a link on the screen now that you can click on that will take you through Vokaroo in more detail. Now a really good thing to do is to rename your files because sometimes it can be hard to remember which one is which. So if, for example, if I go to my downloads and I click here, I can play the file, just check, okay? So this first Egypt. one. Egypt. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna name that Egypt and that would probably be the quickest way of just doing it, unless you can remember the order. If you click on date modified, it will of course put at the top the most recent recording. So that can help if you do that that way. So I can kind of do that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and just rename that file because I know that one is Egypt. So I'm just gonna rename it Egypt. It's gonna make it easier for me to find. But you don't have to do this if you think you can remember the order in which you recorded them. And that one was obviously Thailand, okay? 
So once you've renamed them, it's then much easier to find the files afterwards. Go now to your word wall. So I'm back on my word wall and now it's really easy. So if I click on edit content and then all I need to do is remember we've added words to Thailand. So we're just going to click on Thailand, go click on uploads and I'm just going to click on Thailand and then click on open and that's it. Now Thailand, just click on OK. OK, and that's generated. Now I'll do the same for Egypt. I'll just click on that, click on upload. In the end, I didn't record Poland just because of time. So we're going to do this time. It's going to be Egypt. Click on open. Egypt okay and then click on done and that's it now if we go back to that game so come down to the bottom here in that game now those two words will be with my voice now it's slightly different if you're working with sentences it's more or less the same but I just want to quickly explain so let's just check if it's working Thailand okay so that's okay and then I think the other one was Egypt Egypt okay so you can see that it works now what about if we're working with sentences before I start an example with sentences if you want to know some other tricks that you can do with word wall I've made a video with five of the kind of hidden secrets in word wall and you might find that video really useful and it's on the screen at the moment A really quick break from the video if you do like what you're seeing and you want more free videos come over to teachertrainingvideos.com basically I train you in using technology and I specialize in language teaching uh, you can find out about my courses on the front page you can access all the content here at the top but there's also loads and loads of stuff on the front page including at the bottom my blog and if you really want to follow my work, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. You'll get updated on the free webinars that I run, the online courses, all of the latest videos, all of the latest blog posts. And at the moment, there's a 14 part free video course in using technology in language teaching. And you might find that useful. Let's get back to the video now. So adding voice to sentences is slightly different. Now you have to remember that you can't add voice to every single activity type, but one of them that you can is the spinning wheel. The spinning wheel is really lovely. I use it a lot for when I get students to have discussions because they have to spin a wheel and then a question comes onto the screen. Now what you can do now is add audio to those sentences okay so the students would hear the audio which is a great idea so if we come down to edit content I just want to show you something notice that if we click on add content the sentence isn't there so if you want to do it using the voice system you need to first of all copy the question and then click on add and then paste that question in and then click on generate it will work what do you do in your free time? And that is absolutely fine. Now, if you want to add the audio, you're going to need to do exactly the same as you did before. But this time, of course, you're going to need to record the whole question. So you'd need to go back to Vokaroo and then record the question. Where did you go for your last holiday? Click on stop, save and share, click on download. Now I'm not going to rename it. I'm going to jump straight back to word wall. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click on upload. Obviously I'm going to go to my downloads. I'm going to guess it must be this question here because always the latest one will always be at the top. So I'm going to click on that, click on open. Where did you go for your last holiday? Click on okay. Now the lovely thing is, that if you play this game now and you land on either of these two questions, the system will read the question out. So if we were now to go to done and actually play this game, we'd have to be lucky, of course, that it does land on one of the questions with the audio. But if it does, then it will actually speak the sentence to us. OK. Uh, oh, nearly. What do you do in your free time? Okay, so that was the voice activated one, but you see exactly how it works. Now, just a last point, uh, if you are looking for something like this, but perhaps a bit more even uh, a, a technology that does this on a much wider scale, so even getting students to record themselves speaking or even to upload videos of themselves speaking and then you to give them feedback, 
There is a great platform called Zengengo that I really recommend if you're looking for a really kind of much bigger audio experience, not just including audio in exercises. And I'm going to add that on the screen now in case you want to access it. So really hope you like the video. Please come over to teachertradingvideos.com. Lots more free videos, loads of stuff on the opening page for language teachers around technology. And at the bottom is my blog, that's free. As I've said, if you wanna sign up to the newsletter, you get updated with all the latest uh, videos, the latest blog posts, the latest online courses, and of course, the free webinars that I often run. And um, if you sign up as well at the moment, there's a special 14 part free video course in using technology in language teaching. And you kind of get sent a video every two or three days. There are no tricks. I basically focus on 99% of the technologies that I show you are free. Um, of course, you can sign up to my YouTube channel and you can, of course, contact me from my website if you want to. And if you are interested in doing any of my paid courses, well, those are here on the front page. Thank you very much. I'm going to put some more videos on the screen now to other technologies that you might find useful as a language teacher.